Hey everybody, it is Wednesday morning, finally. Can't believe half the week's already here. So, I was listening to the radio just a little bit ago, and um, usually in the mornings I listen to Dudley and Bob show. It's on a KLBJ FM in Austin. And they had this guy on there, and I've heard the name before, and he wrote some blog online about this perfect woman that he's looking for, which I got news for him. He's in the wrong city for all of his, all the things he wants. And supposedly this is all blown up, like it's on Huffington Post, and uh, there's a bunch of people that are kind of pissed at him uh so the Dudley and Bob show kind of were at first I was getting pissed at them because they were letting this guy say all these horrible things but then I started to realize that instead of going after him they were letting him you know basically hang himself with his words and so just a couple of gems and then I'll tell you the guy's name uh, and he also, I guess, is a YouTuber, so I'm going to make sure that he's not invited to any of the YouTube meetups. But, um, first thing he said was that he couldn't be with the woman that had been with the black guy, and then proceeded to say that if you took a black guy to the zoo with you and put him in front of the gorilla cage, you could see the resemblance. That's the first problem. Uh, and that's pretty damn racist. And then he claims that his best friend's black and all that, which is usually what white people do when they're extremely racist. They claim they have a black friend. And even if they do, their black friend's not much of a black person if they're going to put up with that crap. Um, and the second thing he said was that he wanted to, um, especially if he was mayor, because he had thought about running for mayor, um, that he wants to basically wipe out all of East Austin, which if you're not from Austin or haven't been to Austin, it's predominantly lower income. He wants to knock it all down and put in condos and run all the poor people out of Austin. So uh, at this point, I'm gonna do everything I can and contact the florist friends we have. This guy's a wedding photographer and tell them to not do events where he's going to be involved uh, and his name is Romeo Rose and I think that's his website it's RomeoRose.com so uh, if you get a chance to go out there and leave him a nice little message about what of a piece of crap he is so and I normally don't call people out on my vlogs I don't want to get attention like that I don't want people to come to my vlog just because I said something about him but it really just kind of pisses me off this guy's such a freaking moron. He's in Austin, one of the most liberal cities in Texas, and he is a complete and total douchebag and a racist. It's just ridiculous. So um, if you guys get a chance, even post it on Facebook to ban this guy. Uh, I'd love to see him uh, get to the point where he can't even go to the grocery store because they don't allow him in and kick his ass out of Austin that won't happen of course but maybe if his business starts to suffer quite a bit he'll leave go somewhere else um, I don't know it's just ridiculous that you would go on the radio and say stuff like that I mean he had a bunch of other stuff to say uh, especially about women and it's just ridiculous man if you want to believe that then you're a moron I mean it is what it is Oh, another one of his gems this morning was that when um, women have uh, more than a couple of babies, they get too loose to have sex with. That's exactly what he said. It's hard to believe that people have uh, a 1950s mindset in 2013, but they do. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say to somebody like that other than go find the nearest bridge and jump off of it. All right, on my way home, I'm trying to navigate all this stupid traffic this afternoon. A lot more than there usually is. So 
up for lunch. Ended up having Panda Express. And this one, the one in town in Bastrop doesn't have sweet tea. It's not this fruity tea crap that I won't drink. This one actually has sweet tea and it's really good, but it's hard to explain. I mean, it's, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet and it doesn't necessarily taste. They said it's just regular black tea, but it has, I don't know, it has some other taste to it that's nearly kind of like it's fruity tasting but it then it doesn't have any aftertaste so it's really good i actually like it a lot i was surprised that it was that good so i'm headed home i well i ate that for lunch and then got some projects done at work but now i'm heading home because we're meeting our friend chris slash lawyer uh we haven't seen him in a long time um it's been months so we're going out to dinner with him tonight to hang out and catch up. So we're going to do that. And yesterday my wife asked, and this is funny, if I would have a problem with her and our roommate going to Vegas together, and I was like, no. And our roommate swore up and down, I'd say no. But, I mean, because somebody has to stay and watch the dogs. And I've been to Vegas, and it's fine if they want to go. Uh, I'm not that concerned with it. Go to Vegas. Have fun. So, that uh, give me a weekend of quiet and I can play my video games and all that. I don't know when they're going, but they're going to have to decide here pretty soon when they want to go. And, um, I'll to start finding some, uh, like, all-in-one vacations like I did when my wife and I went when we were dating. They're trying to find them a good deal so I can go and enjoy Vegas. So if I can get through the traffic, I might actually get home in time to... Because uh, we're supposed to meet our friend at 7, so I might be there just in time to meet them at the restaurant, him and my wife, so we'll have to see. Alright, so I made it back to town just a little after seven so I'm gonna go to the restaurant and meet them I guess that's where I'm meeting him my wife called and asked where I was at and didn't tell me where to meet him at so and of course I'm stuck in traffic on a highway wouldn't be Bastrop without it I don't guess so anyway um, I hope everybody had a good Wednesday uh, mine started off kind of crappy because of hearing that guy on the radio but they got better throughout the day and I uh, got a couple more projects done at work. So I feel better about that. So I'm going to head to the restaurant, eat, upload, and go to bed.